G'day guys, I want to try and make a video here about how to uh, add recordings to uh, PowerPoint. So I've got my PowerPoint open. Uh, I'm actually recording this process with, uh, here, let's see, insert, insert media, uh, and it's a, cancel that, wrong one, sorry, insert media, uh, and it's a screen recording. That's what I'm doing at the moment, and I've chosen the whole screen uh, so you can see everything that we're doing at the moment, and that's running at the moment. Um, I will put this screen recording uh, on the first slide here, um, and I'll put a blank slide in there so that it can go there. That, that's what I'm doing. So let me just put a blank slide there, a uh, new slide, uh, and I'll make it a blank slide. Um, uh, it's your home, 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 layout, blank slide. Yeah, so I'll put the recording for the whole process there. I'm going to start on this slide for my recording of um, <coughs> of the PowerPoint. So uh, how do you put a recording on a PowerPoint? Um, so open up your PowerPoint, um, go to the slide you want to start on, and go to Slideshow. This is the one here, Slideshow, and we want to record Slideshow. So we'll click record slideshow. There's no recordings on this at the moment at all. Um, record slideshow, and we're gonna record from the current slide. Could record from the beginning, but uh, I want that page for um, the recording of this whole process. Record from current slide is where I'm going. Okay, screen's changed. Uh, so this is the recording um, area. Uh, I am gonna do a couple of things. First of all, <coughs> I am going to uh, turn the camera on. So if the camera's on, uh, down the bottom, you see you've got options for the camera, and I might turn the preview on as well, so we can see that. Oop, oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's not what I meant. Oh, let's try that again. Record slideshow from current. Record slideshow from current slide. My bad. Uh, ah, there you go. I don't know why it did that. Um, so now we've got a little preview. I'm not actually recording at the moment, but you can see if the camera is on, this is where the recording is going to be. Um, since I'm not recording at the moment, I can actually um, turn and change things. But while you're recording, you can't actually do this. You would have to stop the recording to change between what you're recording on. I'm also going to be using my stylus uh, for ink. Uh, and so to make sure this doesn't turn the page on me, uh, I am going to choose a color here and now so that it's in pen mode rather than um, advancing stuff. Radio, uh, let's record. So the record button up here will start a record process and it counts us in. G'day guys, we're gonna be uh, looking today at acids and bases. We're gonna be talking about buffers. Uh, and uh, you remember what we've done earlier in acids and bases. Um, we're going to be talking about conjugates here. We're going to be talking about weak acids, weak bases, that sort of stuff. All right. And then when you're done on that page, hit the next page. It automatically starts recording on this page. Uh, I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to remove the little bit that's recorded on this page already. So it's, it just kept recording. So I'm going to go re to remove. Here's the remove. Clear existing recordings. I can do the whole, uh, all slides or just the current slide. I'm going to delete the current slide recording. And I'm going to turn off the camera. So now it's just recording the audio. Um, that's all it's recording. Uh, and actually, Yeah, okay, so uh, let's start recording again. Hit record, it's gonna count us in. Okay guys, we're gonna be talking about buffers. Buffers are a solution that resists change in pH when you add a little bit of acid and base. Um, so let's get a bit of stylus work on here as well. Uh, I'm gonna disconnect my keyboard and put my computer flat. Better. So um, <clears throat> a buffer is a mixture of a weak acid and a conjugate base. So a weak acid, good example, ethanoic acid. 
and its conjugate, which we've been talking about in the last couple of lessons. There's its conjugate. Right there. Uh, and it has to be a weak acid and a conjugate base because um, we will have in solution, we can actually have this because it is quite happy to stay as a molecule and we can have this. We cannot do a strong base, a strong base HC, a strong chloride, a strong acid. <laughs> if you make mistakes, you can just stop this whole process and redo just this slide or whatever. And chlorides um, as its conjugate. But actually, because this is a strong base, this stuff actually doesn't really exist. It exists as hydrogen ions and chloride ions. So it won't work for this situation. We must have a weak acid and its conjugate base. We could also have a weak base like ammonium, ammonia, goodness, and its conjugate base, which is ammonium. So that would work quite happily as well. Um, right. And on the next slide, I'm going to add a video. I'll show you what to do there. Okay. I'll reconnect my keyboard so I can uh, do a couple of things there. Uh, but we can get rid of that. So we're going to um, just stop the recording. Stop recording. Uh, I'm going to clear the recordings from this current slide. So they're gone. I'm going to close out of this. There. Uh, and on the current slide, I have already got a YouTube link down here um, that has come from here. So I just copy the URL. Um, I might as well copy it directly from there right now. So copy the URL, copy, uh, go back to my PowerPoint, and I'm going to show you how to insert a YouTube video. So insert, go across to media, and this time it's a video, and it's an online video. And so I'm going to put that in, paste in the URL, paste, insert. This allows the, uh, YouTube, uh, allows the PowerPoint to actually play the YouTube clip within the PowerPoint. So the kids don't have to open a new window uh, and you don't have to actually have the full video file in PowerPoint. So it keeps the file size down. So that's convenient. And you can tweak that to whatever size you want. Um, right. You had to clean, clear the recordings from this page to allow the children to click on the uh, YouTube link. Uh, otherwise, your recording will go over it um, and it'll just move to the next slide. So you had to remove those. Okay. Um, so slideshow. Back to record slideshow and let's uh, finish out this uh, thing. Uh, current slide will be fine. Um, there's no recording on this slide. Let's go to the final slide. Uh, and let's record just a little bit here. <clears throat> okay, so here's our uh, buffer solution. Yeah, that we were talking about acetic acid. Um, so we have a lot. Oops, I forgot to. Ah. Oh, well, that's worth. I forgot to uh, get my pen going again. So uh, when I try to touch the screen, it. Um, turn the page. So I'm going to clear recordings on this slide. Good to see errors. Good to see errors. Uh, clear recordings on current slide. Okay. Choose a red. Great. Uh, let's start the record again. Three, two, one. And we're in we're recording just um, audio stuff again. So here we go. There's the uh, ethanoic acid in large amounts. Here's the um, uh, ethanoate in large amounts, uh, or sodium acetate. Uh, that's how you get it in there. You need a salt, so sodium acetate. You can pop a bunch of that in. You can pop a bunch of the acetic acid in there, and they will be present in large amounts, and that's kind of what makes a buffer. Okay, we could do more on this page, but I think that's it for us, guys. Um, what I'm going to do is close this now. Uh, oh, better stop recording. Stop recording. Uh, close this. All right, now I want to finally add all this recording on our blank slide at the front. So hopefully it's all there. So if I can remember the uh, option to stop the recording, which if I recall, oh, don't do that. Uh, if I recall, it was Windows Control Q. 
No. Oh, blast. What have I done? No. Nope. Oh, that was it there. Oh, it just cut. Oh, look at that. If I go to the top, it just pops down. Oh, lovely. I want to stop that.